my body had changed at the age of 46. So I started um, into a gym and met someone uh, who started me on bodybuilding. And my body started shaping up. I did the work, my body shaped up. It started looking incredible at the age of 46. So I just pursued that line of um, athletics and I pretty soon it just blossomed into a pretty decent, you know, strong body. And then um, I was introduced to Marie and Marie looked at me and said, you should do a contest. And she was absolutely, you know, just convinced. And when somebody is that certain about something, you've got to kind of go with it. Her consistency and her persistence and certainty about what I could achieve was, uh, that was so inspiring. She pushed me beyond my comfort level, which was getting naked in front of a whole bunch of people. <laughs> and she had practiced what she preached for many, many years, so consequently I believed her. If she were somebody that had never done a contest and was trying to convince me, I doubt that I would have ever been able to uh, follow through because I wouldn't, she didn't, she wasn't backing up what she was, what they're saying with the, with the way they're behaving. So she absolutely knew what she was talking about, so I believed her. So I started working with her. She started me posing. She started me showing me how to show off what I, could, what I had. She started developing what I had, and she was very inspirational and encouraging. She just kept pushing and pushing and pushing. I just kept doing what she said, and pretty soon at the age of 53, I entered a contest in Venice Beach, uh, and um, I won and to get there and to be recognized and to strut my stuff and to be strong. Those abilities at that age was really awesome. It felt really, really great. So after the contest is, um, you know, because I'd met my short-term goal and my long-term goal was just to stay active and strong. Marie called me out of the blue and I was getting to where I, I had not been working with weights for a while and she called me out of the blue just to see, she wanted to see me again. She wanted to see if I still had the shape, she wanted, because she's 10 years younger than I am. So she wanted to see what I was gonna look like, you know, what she was gonna look like in 10 years. So um, we got together again and she said, Gail, you still got it, you got the shape, you got the, you know, it all comes back. So I wanted to get back my strength back. I wanted to get my shape back. I wanted to get all of that back because I, think that you don't have to let it all go. So that's what I did. So I started coming to her very consistently. She's always reminding me. She's always a little voice in my head. She's always, you know, telling me about consistency, but she's being very gentle about it too. She doesn't push. She just, um, what's the difference between um, aggressive and assertive? She's assertive. She really cares and she's very, very personalized. So those are all things that you really don't get by paying a, just a, you know, hourly personal trainer. I just want to be strong. My long-term goal, stay strong. 65 years old, stay strong. I'd like to see a change in the shape and I'm seeing it already. Somebody invites me to go to the Himalayas, I can go. Somebody says, go, let's go trekking in the jungle, I can go. Somebody says, well, you know, any, any, anything out there I want to be able to do and that's what strength and conditioning and diet and all of that does for you. It keeps you strong and keeps you alive and in the game. So Marie contributes to that because she, like I said, she practices what she preaches and she encourages all of that.